players are poised on the brink of greatness. With nearly three quarters of a million dollars on the line and one big question, who will be the next poker legend? The World Poker Tour comes to the Bicycle Casino. of international poker tournaments featuring some of the biggest games and the largest payouts on the planet. Last week, professional backgammon player Gus Hansen took home over half a million dollars after battling it out with the likes of poker pro John Hennigan, the young all-star John Uwanda, and poker great Scotty Wynn. This week... We're at the Bicycle Casino for the Legends of Poker. 134 players started the tournament, and one will walk away with a quarter of a million dollars. Today's winner will also get an entry into the WPT Championship to face off against the other 11 title holders for millions in prize money. And now, down to the WPT Arena with the voice of poker Mike Sexton and Hollywood's own poker ambassador Vince Van Patten are standing by. Welcome to the World Poker Tour. We're at the Bicycle Casino in Los Angeles, California for one of the oldest and most prestigious events on the tour, the Legends of Poker. Absolutely, Mike, and we have seen the legends come and go in this tournament. You know, they played yesterday all night long till five o'clock in the morning. World champions like Phil Helmuth, TJ Cloutier, Scotty Wayne, great players, all knocked out to relatively unknowns. Well, 134 players put up $5,000 of their own money to win this prestigious title and to get that guaranteed seat in the World Poker Tour Championship event at Bellagio, which could be worth millions of dollars. Absolutely. Now, on the World Poker Tour, we play a little game called No Limit Hold'em. You get two cards in your hand, and there'll be five spread out in the middle. Whoever has the best five of, the, of those seven wins. And as you said, the game is No Limit Hold'em. That means you can lose all your chips in one hand. And this is the stuff that legends are made of. So we're in Los Angeles. Let's get to the action. Okay, dealers and players. It's going to be a $500 ante. The blinds are two and 4,000. Go ahead, shuffle up and deal. Now, in No Limit Hold'em, chips are power. The more chips you have, the more flexibility you have in strategy. So, Mike, why don't you give us a rundown on the chip standings? Our co-chip leaders are Chris Carrigian and Mark Safe. Now, Mark Safe is the attorney, the only non-professional poker player at the table, but he's a fun player to watch, and it'll be exciting to see how he does today. Chris Carrigan was born and raised in Lebanon. Chris began gambling at the age of 10. He would count the day's win as his biggest cash out ever. In third place, we have Kathy Liebert, who has 141,000 in chips. This professional player earlier this year became the first woman ever to win a million dollars in a single tournament. Behind Kathy in fourth position is Han Lee. He's starting with 103,000. Han Lee, he is nicknamed the Kamikaze Kid. Hanley's aggressive style has earned him the grudging respect of his peers. In fifth place is Can Hua, who's starting with 66,000. This man learned the game only six years ago. Can Kim Hua and Han Li, by the way, are best friends. And our short stack on 47,500 is professional player Stan Goldstein. Goldstein learned to play poker in high school and has been playing professionally for the last 23 years. His take last year from the Legends of Poker was over 83,000, which included two wins and seven card stud high-low tournaments. They call this tournament the Legends of Poker. Six players are poised to become the next legend. This is really exciting, Vince, to get to see these players' cards because the viewers are gonna get a nice insight on what these players are actually thinking. And here we go, the first hand of the finals of the Legend of Poker. Mark Safe folds. And Han Lee folds, and here goes Kathy reaching for her chips. Kathy Liebert comes firing at the first pot. Her hand not being that strong either with just King Eight, playing very aggressive. Chris folds on the button. Stands in the small blind, and he folds. And, and Can folds, and Kathy Liebert has picked up the first pot. 
And she's got a little pep in her step here right now. Look at her. Look at that. She just picked up 9,000 by raising and winning the first pot. She didn't have much of a hand. The king ain't off suit. Yet she's stacking chips. Look at her. She looks happy. That's your girl. That's your pick for the tournament. It's a great way to start. Think women can't play poker? If you find yourself in a game with Kathy Liebert, don't bet on it. It doesn't bother me that often I'm the only woman at the table. This is what I do for a living. The fact that it's dominated by men doesn't really affect me too much. You know, I try to do the best I can. I used to play nickel-dime quarter uh, home games with family and friends. And uh, I was like, you know, 9, 10, 11 years old. I enjoyed it. And I actually remember going out and buying a poker book and keeping track of my nickel, dimes, and quarters on the cover. And I remember at one point I had like $25 written down as profit. I guess I studied up doing pretty well at it. And now that those nickels and dimes have grown to over a million dollars, Kathy can write her own book. And her competitors know it. Oh, Kathy really so good, huh? She trusts her instincts. She's very aggressive at the right times. Outstanding player. She just won a million bucks on the party poker cruise. She's very, very tough. Underestimate Kathy Liebert, if you will. But don't say we didn't warn you. You know, I feel like sometimes the men don't give me as much respect as I deserve, or they tease me more or something. But, you know, I can handle it. <laughs> you make these guys look prettier than they are. She'll be blind. Well, Vince, Kathy's feeling good. Always good to get that first pot under your belt. Absolutely. What a competitor. Hanley's going to look at his hand first. He's going to throw it away. And here comes Kathy again. She's picked up a big hand. This is Big Slick, Ace King. Whoa, here she goes, 20,000. 20, and now look at Chris. I'm going to raise. Chris, says Chris has picked up two queens. Oh, man. 40, he is making it 60,000. He's re-raising Kathy. 60, Notice Stan, look at both of these players. Now, he's picked up a pretty good hand, an ace-queen. That's right. Now, Stan's a pro. He understands that one chip leader's bet 20,000, the other chip leader's re-raised to 60,000. Normally, on a raise and a re-raise, you throw this hand away, but because he's on the short stack, who knows what he might do? Stan, fake it. <laughs> That's a nice lay down by Stan Goldstein. Mark Safe looking at his hand. He's not going to call it. It's down to the two of them. What is she going to do? Now, Kathy's faced with a decision here. She's raised it and been re-raised. She has a nice hand, but she's all in. She's all in. You she is going for the gusto right here on hand two. She has moved all her chips in against the chip leader. Well, you can't be too selective. You can't predict the other guy has queens. And he calls. Whoa, what a showdown we're going to have here. This is ace king for Kathy, two queens for Chris. Chris is a slight favorite to win this hand. Not much. It's virtually a coin flip. See what happens. Flop is five, six. Five, five, six. No help for Kathy. Look at her look. She knows she's got to have an ace or king or she's going to be six out of here. Not on the fourth street. Chris is in front with his queens. Kathy Liebert is gone on the second deal of this tournament. Look at her. She's shocked, Vince. Well, you know, she's she's absolutely blindsided. She's been whacked. It's like a freight train hits you. Second hand. She didn't even have time to take a sip off a drink. Whoa. She ran right into the chip leader with the ace king, and she is gone. She is out of her chair. Over the rail. Not going to be her year for being a legend. She is disgusted. You have to be. You pick up big I, slick I, ace I king. You, so and Chris Kergulian is I one happy guy. Sideways, you know, right now she's shaking her head. She thinks yeah. maybe I overplayed that ace king. You know, and maybe she did, but she could have won the pot Go just ahead, as easy as not. But you're six-handed. You can't wait all day for aces oh, king. Ace yeah. king is a huge hand. You know, you're gambling. That's what happens. Wow, Vince. Kathy Liebert gone in the first two hands. Tremendous action in the early going here at the Legends of Poker. It's truly unbelievable. But before we get too far, let's give a quick tutorial on just how to play Texas Hold'em. That's a good idea, Vince. The game is No Limit Hold'em, the Cadillac of poker. It's a game that takes a minute to learn and a lifetime to master. To start, each player is dealt two cards face down. Then, five community cards, cards everyone can play, are placed face up on the table. Each player combines their two hidden down cards with the community cards to make their best five card poker hand. And betting is really what this game is all about. Let me explain. You get your first two cards, you make a bet. Then, the dealer puts the first three community cards on the table. In poker, we call this the flop. They bet again. Then, the dealer puts the fourth community card Card on the table. This is called the turn card. Once again, big round of betting. Then the last card. We call this the river. It's turned up on the table. They make a big last round of betting. Turn your cards over. You see who wins. They call it no limit hold'em because there's
there's no limit on how much a player can bet. At any moment, he can declare that he is all in and push all of his chips into the pot. Right, and that makes chip position, or how many chips you have, very, very important in this game. Well, Vince, the crowd is stunned already, like myself. I picked Kathy to win this tournament, and she's already out. Bounced out after two hands. I mean, she got caught up in a whirlwind there. Too bad for Kathy, but great for Chris Karagoulian. Chris looking at his hand, throws it away, and he had a pretty good hand in it. He's six off suit. After winning that big pot, plays a pretty conservative. Well, I think he's just going to bide his time now. He's in great chip position. I don't think he's going to be looking to do too much gambling, unlike a lot of people would when they had this kind of chip stack. He's going to sit back and just sort of bide his time. And here we go. Now we're down to the battle of the blinds. Now, these are the two biggest gamblers at the table, for sure. And you're going to see them clash, I think, sometime. And here comes Mark. Jack Queen of spade, a pretty good hand there. Well, that's the kind of hands that you like, I know, Vince. And uh, it's not a bad hand in the blind. He come in for 12,000. And look at Han Lee. Now, Han Lee doesn't like to give up anything. He's got 4,000 in this pot in the big blind. He only holds a 3-8. Look at his thought process. Now, he wants to play a 3-8, and the guy with 320,000 and chips through an ace highway. Well, he's going to throw it away. He did throw it away. But inside, he's not happy about it. Mark was telling me that the tournament that he won just a week ago, that his biggest rival was Han Lee, and they got a lot of battles. Well, I think we're going to see something today between these two. Yeah. We'll see what happens. You'll see me in there a lot. You'll see me bluff a lot. That often leads to an early exit or uh, a lot of chips. Well, remember, we're playing with a $500 ante and two and 4,000 blinds. Now, that means they've got to get in there and mix it up, Vince. Absolutely, and they are. Ken Wise picked up a nice hand. Pair of fives in his hand. He's got to like that. I'm all in. He's going all in, Mike. He goes all in. Ken Hua goes all in. Now, look at this. Mark Safe has a big decision to make here, Vince. Well, he's got a pair of eights. You're right. I mean, it's two guys with wired pairs. Now, he has about 165,000 in chips, and Ken Hua has moved all in for about 60,000. I call. He's calling. He's called. Mark, he said sure. he calls. Well, why not? You're only playing five-handed. You can't wait for aces and kings. Ken Wah's got to be saying, I hope he has ace-king or ace-queen. Then That way, I would have been a slight favorite. Now, he's going to love it when he sees that Ken only has a pair of fives. He will be a big favorite in this. But he's still got two more players to get by here. Now, Han Lee has a king-six here. Look at this. He hates to give up a hand, Vince, this guy. <laughs> absolutely right. He actually thought about calling. It's going to be down to two of them. All right, open the hands, gentlemen. Let's see them. Here they go. Now, at this point, Mark Safe is in a commanding position with two eights against two fives. Oh, Mark's got to love that. And Ken Wah is sick. Here's the flop. Not going to help Ken Wah. Mark is in front with a pair of eights. Ken Wah is going to need a five, or he's going to be our fifth place finisher. This is the last card. Can Ken Wah do it? He can't. He does not do it. It's over. Can Hua on our fourth deal. We've lost our second player. The action is fast and furious right here at the Legends of Poker. You know what? There's only been four hands. We've lost two players. Can Hua will join Kathy Liebert on the sidelines, maybe go to the bar, have a drink, commiserate, because he is out of there. Incredible early action here at the Legends of Poker. Can Hua over on the side wishing he could just disappear. Went all in with a pair of fives. Do you well, like his play, Mike? Well, you know, I don't really fault the play. When you're on a short stack, you got to make a move with something, but you want to do it where you still got some chips to put your opponent to the test. So just an unfortunate thing that both had wired pairs. Just uh, unfortunate, and he had to call with two H. That's not so easy either. You got to give Mark credit for uh, taking a gamble to call two H there also. We are down to the last four at the Bicycle Casino in Los Angeles, California, and with the World Poker Tour. We'll be right back. My trap worked. He's only got four outs. This guy's going home. Come on, nine. Sometimes making the right move isn't enough, but there's always another hand. We play at FullTiltPoker.com.
Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We're at the Bicycle Casino for the Legends of Poker, and we're already down to four players. Can Hua and Kathy Liebert, Mike Sexton's pick to win this tournament, have already been eliminated. Let's get back to the game. Here we go, down to our final four. Han Lee will be the first to speak here. Action's been fast and furious so far. Well, we're playing no limit poker, and you can bust out in one hand. You've seen it now twice here. On folds and Chris folds. And Stan is on a short stack here. He doesn't have a whole lot of money, but he's got a hand. He's got ace queen there, Mike. Look at Mark looking at him. I'm all in. He says, I'm all in. All in for the man with ace queen. I call. He points, I call. He looks down at two tens. He quickly calls with his tens. He loves his tens. We have the race situation. This is ace queen versus two tens. The tens are just a slight favorite to win. It's a virtual coin flip. Let's see if Stan Goldstein can get lucky and stay alive in this tournament. The now on the flop, clubs, the tens are still clubs. holding up. They're way out in front. Stan Goldstein has a problem here. He needs a miracle card. He's got to catch an ace or a queen or he's out. Oh, he's done it. Look at this. Oh, the pain of Mark Safe. Look at that. He's caught that miracle. Now he's crossing his fingers because he could still get out drawn with a 10. It's true. And it's not going to be. Stan Goldstein is a safe cracker on that hand. He has doubled up. Now that's rough on Mark because Mark Safe <laughs> won the other hand with a pair of eights. It held up for him. This time he has tens. He thinks it's going to hold up. He thinks, hey, I'm going to be a champion today. I just got the feeling. And then boom, one card comes down, that ace. You're outdrawn. It's back to nine to five. That was a hand that just sort of played itself. They're both in the blinds. Stan absolutely has to move in on the short stack, and Mark absolutely has an obligated call with the two tens on the big blind. Uh, they both played correctly. It was a coin flip. The last time it went one way, this time it went the other way. And that's what's supposed to happen on a coin flip. I'm comfortable with the situation. The annies and the blinds are really high for the amount of chips I have, so I'm pretty much going to have to win the first hand I play. But if I can do that, if I can double up, I feel I got as good a chance as anybody there. Okay, let's get back to the action. Now, here's Chris, who hadn't played a pot since the first deal. And look at this. He's raising in first position with the five, three of diamonds. Now, for a pretty conservative player, this is a bold play on his part. He's just getting tired of watching everybody else play and him sitting back. He's four-handed, and Hanley has a king-10, not the worst hand. He's really studying it, thinking about it. Raising Hanley's big blind is not uh, normally a ticket to success because usually he likes to defend, but he knows Chris is a conservative player. He raised in first position, which means you normally have a stronger hand, which is why I find it pretty unique that Chris is raised with five, three of diamonds. I sort of like this play. Well, this goes to show how what a tough player Chris is. He's mixing up his game nicely with not the greatest hand, just kind of a semi-bluff. Let's see if it works. It's a total bluff. Hanley's thinking about Look at Hanley. See, he doesn't want to give this hand up. No, he doesn't, does he? But he knows it's a chip leader. He'd be clashing with. Chris kind of twitching a little bit there. A little nervous. He doesn't want to be called here. Chris has brought it in for 24,000, so he's raised to 20,000. So it's going to cost Hanley 20,000. Hanley only has 100,000. So to put 20% of your stack in with a King 10 offsuit when a guy raised in first position, it's not so easy. Now, the interesting thing about this is that this shows you that in tournament conditions, when you're down to four players, you can't wait for just aces or kings. you got to play with just about anything. And that's what makes a great player, knowing that. And he's going to throw the hand away and let Chris take it. Now, had he moved over the top of Chris there for all his money, Chris would have thrown the 5-3 away and Han Lee would have won the pot. Right, lots of psychology here we're watching. But what happens is many, many times, the first guy to bet the pot, the first guy to raise the pot, is the guy who wins the pot. Well, you know, the funny thing is, it's scary. You don't know what the guy has. You can lose all your money, and you can be so far beat at that point. So it's always very scary when you have to call a pretty big bet or a raise. Well, I'm going to play my best and try to trap people if I can. First 15 minutes, I'll see what happens. OK, the action is going to be on Chris. Chris folds. He folds. Yeah, look at those. Stan folds. Stan folds. <laughs> the beauty. Mark calls the Now Mark just calls the on the small blind. It's the first time we've seen that today. I'm interested to see what Han Lee's going to do. Now Han Lee's got a king jack here. 20,000 raise. And he's, well, he's going to raise it. And as soon as he says raise, raise, Mark folds Mark his hand. Holds, he didn't even wait to see how much he's raising. Mm -hmm. Now that was pretty interesting. 
And Mark safe has Actually, that's now. giving a little bit of information to your opponent there. I think Mark acted a little bit too hastily there. Because now, from now on, Hanley can just say raise and just see if the guy's going to wing his cards in. Okay, I was going to tell you, Mike. Han Lee was my pick from the beginning, and I'll tell you why. Yeah, I do. You know how I like to pick the players. I, I take a look at the players, and I see who looks the luckiest, and then I go with them. Well, the guys walked out here. They all walked out, and they all look very tight, except for Han Lee. He raised his arms over his head. He looked very excited. He was laughing. He was loose. He's going to win. He looks lucky. That's my pick for the win. Well, I got to say, Vince, it's just like you to take a shine to a guy whose nickname is Kamikaze. But last week, you picked the winner of the Five Diamond Poker Classic at Bellagio, Gus Hansen. That's right. This that's week, right. you're going with Han Lee. Sure. You know, I, on the other hand, picked Scotty Wynn last week. He went out in sixth position. Bombed out. This week, I picked Kathy Liebert. She's the first one to go. <laughs> uh, Vince, so far, you're batting 1,000. My picks haven't been so good. Let's see how your man Han Lee does today. Okay. Okay, Mark inherits the button. Stan will be the first to speak. And he folds. folds. It's up to Mark on the button. 12,000. 12,000. 12, and he comes Mark in for 12,000. 12, now he's raising in late position, raise. Vince. Yeah, well, it's kind of interesting. He doesn't have much of a hand at all. It's just six and seven, so it's a cold stone bluff. And Han Lee folds. Han Lee folds. Time. Chris called time. And normally when you call time, you're going to make a play here. Look what Chris has. That's he's got time. pig slick. He's certainly probably going to raise the pot, just a matter of how much. I'm going to raise it. He raised. He is going to re-raise. He does raise. 25,000 more. He raised it 25,000 more. Call look the at the look on Mark's face. Aggravated that he got caught. 12, 12. Look at him. He called the four and raised eight. Right. Now look at Mark. That one. Then he, let me take this. Just thing. trying to check out Chris to see whether he can really do a bluff and re-raise or whether it's just worth it, just get the heck out, which he does. Yeah. And Mark now he shows the ace king. Now that's interesting. I mean, they already think he's a conservative player. Why do you want to convince him of it? And Han Lee inherits the button. Chris in the small blind, Stan the big blind. And Mark will be the first to speak. Now look at this, Mark has a real hand. He has big slick and he's gonna raise. Raise 12,000, make it 16 total. Six you know, what's Mark interesting this big slick has come up a lot after just a few hands now. today. These kings come up a lot today, but I guarantee you one thing Kathy wishes she's never seen it today. <laughs> On Lee folds, Chris folds. folds this time. Chris folds. Now here's a hand that Mark's looking to get played with. He's raised a couple hands in a row. Now we're down to Stan, the big blind. And Stan folds. And he folds. He's king. And Mark, and Mark shows the ace king. I don't think that's a good play. We're all gonna get the other hand, he mucked his hand before Hanley had a chance to say anything but raise. And this time, he showed Chris his cards after a raise. You know, they may be able to pick up some information on this. So. Well, you're right. That might not have been the greatest move, but at least Mark is still sitting there. He's still in the tournament. Whereas Kathy Liebert had ace king earlier, but she got ran up against a pair of queens. Second hand of the tournament, knocked out. And our own Shauna Hyatt will take a closer look at the promise and the pitfalls of playing Big Slick Ace King. Shauna? Big Slick, a sweet treat or a sticky mess? Catch the deal on this edition of the WPT Poker Corner. Most hands in poker play themselves. You toss the junk and ride your aces. It's the cards in between that separate winners from the pack and losers from their chips. And there's no better example of in between than the potential powerhouse known as Big Slick. No doubt the ace-king combination is a strong hand. The odds you'll hit the flop with top pair are nearly one in three. And you're the favorite against any other non-paired hand. This is good. But remember, you're an underdog against every paired hand all the way down to deuces. All you've got is sweet potential. Big Slick is just good enough to go all in with and just weak enough to bust you. This is bad. It's all in how you play Big Slick. When you raise, if you raise, who you chase off and who comes back at you. If it all breaks right, Ace King can be a blessing. If not, it can be a slippery slope. Remember, they don't call it Big Slick for nothing. Well, the action is going to be on Chris. And look at that, Vince. He's got an ace high and he folds it. Yeah, you know, four-handed, that's not that bad of a hand. 
I mean, this is the guy that bets hard with 3-5, and now he's folding with ace. Stan folds, and now here's Mark with a 3-9 of spade. He calls. Hanley. Hanley knocks the table. That means go ahead and give us a flop. Now he's only got a 4-7 in his hand. Both these guys have horrible hands, but you never know. Now here comes the flop. 6-6-8. Six, six, this gives Hanley a gut shot straight draw. And Mark checks. Mark checks. And Hanley's betting 10,000. It's a nice bold bet by Hanley there. It certainly is. And Mark folds his hand. Now those people out there, they're saying, hey, wait a second. I read in the book, you gotta <laughs> wait for the big hands. You know what? In this kind of game, you can throw the book out. He gives himself a cheer. It's a nice bet there on the gut shot straight by Han Lee. He picks up the puck. I'm confident. I have to win today, you know. I feel good. So aggressive play does pay off. Han Lee showing that. Is that better? Now, Mark Safe, look at this. He's picked him up. The two bullets, the pocket rockets, the best hand in poker. Oh, man. American Airlines, he's picked him up. Look, he's trying to act casual. He comes in for 16,000. But Hanley's got a pretty interesting hand, a 9-10 of hearts. He has no idea that Mark Safe has a pair of aces. Well, he's on the button. He's in position. These are the kind of hands Hanley likes to play. He likes to take a flop with these hands. But let's see if he'll call 16,000 to do it. He does say call. I call. That's a call, call. Hanley. Okay, Chris is going to go out. This is going to be an interesting pot. Mark so trying to look brave. concerned, but Hanley I don't think call. he's that concerned at this point. He knows he has the best hand at this time. And Stan, who's in the big blind, he still has an option to play this pot. And he Stan folds. So here we go. Mark Back to and Mark Hanley. and Hanley one more time. This time, Mark Safe has two aces, the pocket rockets. The flop comes Whoa. Jack four comes three Jack 4-3 with two hearts. Mark checked on the flop. He's trying to trap him. 30, and Hanley's coming out and he's going to bet. He's swinging away. Hanley has bet 30,000. Okay. 30, okay. Mark checked. Hanley bets 30,000. Well, he's trapped him perfectly, Vince. Yes, he has. Of course, he may trap himself. I'm going to raise. Mark says he's, he's going, going to raise. raise. I'm going to make it uh, 80,000. He's 50, going to raise more. it 50,000 50, more, he says. 80, he's making it 80,000 here, Vince. Oh. What a pot this is. That certainly is. That could buy a nice new car. Whoa, clock. these two are clashing here. This could be a knockout blow for one of them. So we have a $50,000 raise to Hanley. Now, Hanley's got a flush draw. Of course, Mark could even have a bigger flush draw. He could be drawn almost dead here. You never know. I call. He's calling, though. He's gambling. Call. This is a gambling oh, man, Vince, and he is going for it right more. here. Okay. He's called 50,000 more. Now, he's got less than 20,000 left here. Turn he's the card. He didn't catch deuce. the flush as of yet. The deuce comes on the turn. 30, this is certainly and no help to Mark Hanley. Mark sets 30, him all in. I call. Well, but Hanley is going Hanley for it. He is going to have to make a flush fence or he is out of this tournament. Hanley is trying to chase the aces down. He's a big dog. Is he going to do it? Well, we've already lost two players. Will Hanley make it three? Don't go away. Stay tuned for all the action from Los Angeles here on the World Poker Tour. We are back at the finals of the Legends of Poker at the Bicycle Casino just south of Los Angeles. And with one card to go, Han Lee is one card shy of a flush. He is up against the pocket aces of attorney Mark Safe. And Vince, Mark has played this hand perfectly so far. He woke up with aces. He check-raised Han Lee on the flop. And with one card to go, he is a big favorite to win this pot. And how doubly sweet it would be for Mark if he could not only win this hand, but to knock out his arch rival, the kamikaze kid, Han Lee. Let's watch him. Well, here we go, Vince. Okay, we have two aces With one card Mark. to go, Mark Safe has an 80% chance to win this pot. Oh! And he loses the pot. Look at this. He jumps for joy. Look at this. Look at him. He had to catch a harder. He's eliminated from the tournament. The eight of hearts comes at the river. He is doubled up. Mark Safe, look at Mark. Mark cursing. Oh, he started with the best hand possible, two aces. And Han Lee cracked the aces. 
with the flush at the river. What a pot for Han Lee, and that's a crippling blow for Mark Safe. Well, Mark, put the chair down. I'm afraid he's going to chuck that thing. Looks very upset, oh. rightfully so. That, that is heartbreak. I mean, it is really heartbreak. Oh, look at this. Look, look, look at Mark. If Jeffrey Dahmer was a poker player, he would be Mark Safe. <laughs> well, rumor has it it's not the first time they've tangled with each other. Shauna? Thanks, guys. Mark Safe and Han Lee have had a running battle since the beginning of the tournament. In the conversation I had earlier with Mark, I learned that the lawyer and former construction worker have been at odds before. Han Lee came to my table a week ago with five times as many chips as the next guy, which was me, and I got very lucky against him. Got a lot of premium hands, and he wanted to mix it up, and he did. And I basically won the tournament because I got all the unleashed chips. I'm sorry, oh, this guy, he's very excited, you know. He know my, my name, he know I, how I play, and then when I raise, um, he come over top all the time. But then I need to win. Before he started his own practice, Mark was a prosecuting attorney, and he knows how to build a case. Every moment that I'm in a pot with Hun Lee, I'm thinking two very divergent thoughts. A, am I about to get busted by him? B, is there an opportunity to take all his chips? And the more information you have, the better you're going to do. And if I can gain some information from Hun Lee by asking him a question and basically analyzing his response, I might be able to get some information. Oftentimes, it presents an opportunity to pick him off. For all Mark Safe's legal training, the verdict he returns on Han Lee. Definitely the wildest player at the table. Very, very dangerous. Is remarkably similar to Han Lee's more direct opinion of Mark Safe. I think he played crazy, you know. <laughs> Well, I can tell you right now, Mark feels like he's gone through a field of thorn bushes right now. He's all scratched and cut up. Two aces against Hun Lee. You, you dream of that stuff. There's nothing worse. This is the kind of thing that makes you go to backgammon or something. Yeah. Chris has that was fun. a brutal blow. Look at all these chips, Hun Lee. They didn't have time to stack them yet. Oh, man. Hun and Lee you know both? what? There is no rush, Hun Lee. Just take your time. Now, look at this. Chris has a king jacket club. Hold on, hold on. And he, he's going to throw it away. On the button. Now, I'll tell you, that's a very poor play, in my opinion. Well, maybe he's just doing it because he doesn't want to give Mark Safe another bad beat there. No, forget being a little about nice. It. Forget about it. You better take a man out if you get a chance to at the poker the table. Line. They give Mark Safe the pot. Yeah, the funny thing is Mark has a terrible hand. He's going, wait, I had aces the hand before, and I lose this, and now I got this junk, and you're going to give this to me? Button well, I can't believe stand. Chris Garrigan gave him that pot. I think that's a very bad play on Mark his part. Mark's gathering his breath now. He's on the comeback trail just a little bit here. Look, he keeps nodding his head. He's getting a little punchy from all this <laughs> poker here. <laughs> it's going to be up to Stan first. He looks at his hand. Stan's just staying out of the way. Now, and he folds. Now, Mark's got an interesting hand this time. He has three, four of clubs, and he is going to call it. Mark calls on He's the limping button. in on the button, trying to see a flop with the three, four clubs. Han Lee has not hold stacked him, his him. chips. He's got this monstrous stack in front. And just keeping it out there, just saying, you know what? I'm trying to intimidate you here a little bit. I can't even stack my chips. And look what he called with the Jack Six offsuit. And he flops the top pair. Wait a second. A flush for Mark. Look at this. Three clubs out there. 10,000. Han Lee is going to bet 10,000. Chris Folds. This is such an exciting thing for Mark Safe right now. Mark's going into Hollywood. Oh, yeah. He's doing a little Jack Nicholson job here. <laughs> you flop a flush. Your opponent Mark bets into you, and he's just calling. And he just calls. What a nice, smooth play that is. Turn right there by Mark Safe. Seven. Now, seven comes off on the turn. That's a very dangerous card for Han Lee, because it looks like he might have a straight. Here. Han Lee he has the top pair, and he's going to bet. He is going to bet. Mark's got to love this. Han Lee bets 30,000. Now, Mark only has about 45,000 altogether. It's just a matter if he puts it in here now. This is what you want your sucker to do. You've set him up, and he's betting right into you. I'm all in. And Mark's, and Mark's going, all in. going all in. Look at Han Lee. <laughs> <laughs> look at Han Lee's look. Look at look, these look, guys looking at each other. Look at this. This is a stare down. It's like a boxing match. We got the defense attorney versus the kamikaze kid. He's really kamikaze on this hand because he's drawing completely dead, Vince. 
Well, yeah, it's, it's a disaster trap for Han Lee. He just went into it. Mark Tickle Pink that he can get his nemesis here and get him back for the last flush draw that Han Lee outdrew him. So it's that, a great rivalry. It's a monster pot that's only going to cost Han Lee another 15, 16,000 to call. I call. Hanley he calls him. Call. Let's turn him up, please. Okay, Han Lee Mark nods his head. He knows he's drawn dead now. He has a flush. Mark. Yeah, Mark knows it too. As soon as he turns up his card, he gives a clap. You can be lucky, Mark. Even though your aces get cracked, you did it. Yes. By the way, if I have to get an attorney, I want Mark safe. This man could do wonders, I think. Well, he's intense. He's determined. He'll fight for you, Vance. I believe that. He will fight for me. Excellent play by Mark Safe in this pot. Well, Mark's feeling better. And that changes the chip count somewhat. Let's give you a quick chip count again. At this point, Chris is still our leader with 282,000 in chips. Han Lee's still in second with 172,000. Mark has vaulted into third with 125,000. And Stan has about 95,000, so it's tightened up a little bit. 12,000. And here comes Mark again, Vince. To 12,000. Yep, 12,000 total is the bet. That's an 8,000. He's got an ace three offsuit. Makes his little raise. What's his rival going to do, Han Lee? He's coming for 12,000 here. Now look at this. Uh -huh. Han Lee is on the button with two fives. It's 12,000 to him. He just got outplayed and beat by Mark the very last hand. You think this is getting personal between these two vents? I raise. I raise. Okay. He says, I'm raising. He's raising. Look at Mark. I give up. I'm throwing my hands up. Every time I try to get something going, this guy stops me in my tracks. Here. Mark, throw away all aces. Anything, if you have an ace in your hand, get away from it. You need three, four clubs. That's about it. Unbelievable. He re raises it with the two fives. Stan Goldstein, the mystery guest here at the table, hardly playing. And he folds, and now it's back to Mark Safe. Now he has a weak ace here. But still, he just can't believe his nemesis has popped him back. It's all yours, Henley. Take a damn tiger. Mark he folds his hand. Poor Mark, every time Han he thinks he's taking one step forward, Han Lee sends him backward. Well, obviously, they're going after each other. It becomes personal, and it shouldn't, because you shouldn't let your ego get involved. But it's the greatest reward of all to defeat the, the mightiest warrior. are back to the action at the Legends of Poker at the Bicycle Casino. And this has been a wild one. I mean, the first couple of hands, they were playing like they were double parked or something. I mean, two players out in the first four hands. Then this absolute slugfest between the attorney Mark Safe and the kamikaze kid Han Lee. Well, Vince, what we've got here is two guys that like to get in there and mix up every pot, and then two guys on the other end, Chris and Stan, that don't ever like to play a pot. Well, Stan Goldstein has definitely Raise been our mystery guest. Now, he's raising it up. He does have a hand. He has ace, jack of clubs. Okay. Hide-and-go-seek time is over. Well, that's a big duke against the two blinds, and even Stan's going to play this hand. He's generally always going to have a hand if he comes in a pot. Mark's going to throw his 6-7 away. They're not going to mess with him. Hardly, even though he's in the big blind with a lot of chips, even he gives Stan a lot of respect. Quick little win for Stan. He needed that. Get him back in the game a little bit. Well, the action is on Stan. Now, Stan doesn't have too much of a hand. He took his last the last pot. And he folds. And Mark's on the button. He limps in on the button again. It worked well for him last time, Vince. He doubled up, won a big pot, was limping in with the four three of clubs. He's trying it again. But Han Lee's not going for it this time. He says raise. Yeah, because he has a real hand. He has a real pair of tens. he got to raise with that. Chris folds. Mark disgusted. Look at this look. Aggravated by this re-raise. Laying down big hands. Raises me every pot. He raises me every time. You guys have something <laughs> since yesterday, man. He's been doing this to you since yesterday. Right? They're sitting back. This all seems like a two-man game now, doesn't it, Vince? Oh, yeah. It's the attorney against the kamikaze kid, and they're going after each other. He's calling out of anger. Well, I think it's a bad call here. I don't see how you can not raise on the button and then call another 
16, 20,000 more. Flop is five of hearts, six of spades, ace of diamonds. Now Mark has a straight draw, belly buster straight draw. Check. He goes check, check here. What is a two-man game now? Six of hearts. 10,000. Hanley bets 10,000. Ten Mark beat him in the pot. Sure now Mark only has eight, nine. He's going to catch a seven to make a straight here. Very strange call by Mark there. And now Mark has made two nines in this pot. Makes him two pair. Now Hanley has the best hand with two tens. 10,000. Hanley bets 10 more thousand. Good call by Mark. And Mark beats him in the pot with a 10,000. He's not going to like this result. Hanley made a great value bet there. I like that bet with the two tens. I like both those bets Hanley made. He picked up another 20,000 off of Mark. Now, Mark got a little bit stubborn in that hand. This shows me that he's getting frustrated by Hanley coming over the top of him. He's going to try to outdraw him a time or two now. He wants so bad to try to beat him now, Vince. He's taking a little more desperate hands now, trying to outdraw his opponent. Well, Mark's safe, you know. I think he wishes he could be hiding right now. But on the World Poker Tour, there is no hiding. Okay, Hanley is going to be the first to act here. Well, Hanley is on a good groove here. He's catching some hands, making the right moves. He doesn't have too much here, just king nine. But he's feeling lucky, and he's coming in. He just calls the big blind. He didn't raise it. He just called. Chris folds on the button. And Chris is going down a little bit with about 270,000. Hanley is about to catch him. Well, I'd take a flop for two times, but I'm scared. Stan's throwing it away. <laughs> between you two. Check. Mark checks. Again, it's uh, Mark and Hanley heads up. Flop comes five, nine, king, two spades. Look at this flop for Han Lee. Two That's pair. This is a monster flop for Han Lee. And it goes check, check. He checks. He's trying to trap. Mark checks. 10,000. 10,000. Mark has the bottom pair now. He has two threes. He's checked. Han Lee's bet 10,000. It's just the milk play. He's just milking him a little bit. He just wants that 10. Well, he milked him the other hand for two $10,000 bets and a $20,000 raise that Mark shouldn't have called to start with. Here he's got him for 10,000 more. And the seven of spade comes out there. Now that's a straight possibility, flush possibility. Mark checks. Now Hanley's got the top two pair. 15,000. Look, 15,000. He bloats it out there. Yes. Now this is a bet of confidence. Very theatrical. But I mean, Mark's supposed to be able to pick up on this, that he's got to have a hand here. You know, that was a confidence bet. It wasn't a scared bet at all. Mark now, who's called his money off to Hanley several pots in a row. And as you know, the worst thing you can do in No Limit Poker or any poker game is call your money off. He's calling. He's calling. I think it was that, that voice that made him call. Bad call. And he's got up again. He is getting so desperate now to try to beat Hanley a pot that he's calling with the bottom pair. That's two consecutive hands. He's called him all the way down. Both he's times a mistake. He's, a, he's been slapped around by Hanley. Yep. Hanley's playing him like a fiddle now here. And poor Mark wants so bad to try to beat him a pot now that he's getting a little bit desperate. He's playing bad hands. He's calling his money off. He just didn't want to be outplayed. Just in case he would have won that pot with two threes, he would have got his voice back, but it didn't happen. And as it is, he's speechless. Okay, we are now down to four players at the World Poker Tour, and we'll be right back. four at the Bicycle Casino's Legends of Poker Tournament. So far, Chris Karagoulian has been playing it cool behind a huge stack of chips, while Mark Safe and Han Lee slug it out hand for hand in the final day of their week-long grudge match. Stan Goldstein is still in the game, but he'll have to make a move soon if he wants to stay alive. Let's get back to the action. Han Lee just controlling this game right now. He really is. He's getting more confidence as every hand goes by. Yep. They all look like they're starting to get afraid to play with him. Chris it. folds quickly. You're so, you're so tight, man. Oh, look at Hot uh -oh. Lee. <laughs> He's giving it to Chris. I'm going to raise it at 12,000. He called him a tight player. He's not wrong about that. Meantime, Stan raises on the button. Uh, Hot Lee is the definite trash talker. He tries to get people upset. Call. 
Look illegal. at this, just calls. Hanley calls out of the big blind. Now Hanley has a king 10 here, and Stan has an ace three, so Stan has the best hand right now. Let's see what flops up there. Flop is, nine of flop is king, queen, nine. Queen That's a good flop for Hanley. Oh yeah, and he checks it, trying to trap him. Check. Check. Stan didn't go for it, he checked right behind him. Eight of hearts on the turn. 20,000. 20,000. 20, now notice that voice when he bets that in. That's, yeah. a, that's a tell. I'm telling you, as a player, you're supposed to be able to pick up on that kind of stuff. You can't let that go by. Mark missed it earlier. Stan didn't miss it, and he got out of the way. Well, Sean has been running around asking people about tells all week. Let's go to her and see what she found out. Okay. Shauna? This time on the WPT Poker Corner, what is a tell? And what does it say about you? Human beings are not built to lie. Your face might be stone, but flop a monster hand and the pulse in your neck will throb like Times Square on New Year's Eve. And your opponent folds. Go in with all your chips on a naked bluff and notice you haven't taken a breath in the last, oh, five minutes. Don't want to trigger a call by doing anything extraordinary like breathing and they call you. A tell is when you see somebody do something that gives away the strength of their hand. A tell is a psychological giveaway, the subtle betrayal of human nature. Hit your flesh and your eyes instantly dive down to your chips. Swallow hard when you go over the top with cheese. It's all fair game to the good players who know that information is the key to success. But tells. If you're going to give it away for free, somebody's going to make you pay for it. So far, Chris and Han Lee seem like they're in pretty well control of the game. And Chris is in control only by playing the one big pot against Kathy. He hasn't done anything else. Right. But he has so many chips, he can sit back and wait. Mark Safe will be the first to speak here. 16,000. Total. Now, Mark's really short on chips. Total Mark bets. Well, he's got a huge hand. He's got Ace King suited. Chris folds. And Han folds and Chris folds. Stan has an interesting hand. He has King Ted of clubs. He's got to consider this. The 16 total? 16 total. I call. He's got to call. Stan calls him. Now Stan has King Ten of clubs. He's up against Ace King of spade. So at this point, Mark has way the best hand here. Now here comes the flop. 7-8 queen, eight, queen two with two spades. Mark has the best hand, the best draw. Just a monster draw. You, you feel confident betting that, and he does. Look and Mark this. moves all in. Mark, Mark bets 19-5, it looks like. All in, Mark? Yep. All in. You got me covered, buddy. I know that. By at least. I was trying to see what I'd have left. Probably five to 6,000. He knew all the time he was never going to call that bet, Vince, but he was just sort of playing it out. You know, it's sort of like you're arguing for the next call in baseball. He didn't want to give him any information. Well, he's methodical. He's a methodical player, and uh, a Mark is not. Okay, the antis and blinds have just gone up. We now have a thousand dollar ante, and blinds are three and six thousand. At this stage of the tournament, we have two monster chip leaders and two very short stacks, Vince. Conley folds. Chris Foltz. So here we go. I'm gonna put him all in. Stan's here comes Stan. He's in. going all in. He's got about 30,000. Six high, buddy. Take it down. And Stan's gonna he wins Vince the pot. Vince, now that the blinds and annies have gone up, the short stacks, they've got to play. They can't sit back anymore. I mean, I know Stan has just been sitting back hoping somebody else gets knocked out. Certainly he wants to double up, but he's trying to move up a position Stan's first before he really starts playing. Okay, the action is gonna be on Stan Goldstein. You know, he's been sitting there, very quiet. He's been pushed around. All in. But now he has a real hand. He's going all in, Mike. Here he goes. All <laughs> he's all in. in with the king, ten of clubs. Mark folds. Now, Hanley only has a nine, six. You wouldn't think he'd call, and he doesn't. He folds, and now Chris. Chris says, I call. Now, Chris has ace, ten of diamonds. He's in a dominating position here. It's ace, ten of diamonds versus king, ten of clubs. Mark gives a fist because he knows if Stan goes out, he moves up money. Absolutely. Chris going to be a big favorite here. Well, let's see the flop. Flop is jack, seven, four. Chris still has the lead. 
Chris is Stan really Goldstein's going to have to catch a king or he's going to be out in fourth place. And he does. Look at this. It comes off. Oh, man. Whoa. Can you believe that? Stan Goldstein has hit the king. It's not over yet. Now it is. And it comes off. Look at Stan Goldstein outdrawing Chris Garagouyan right there in that pot. And there's another blow to Bark Safe, who would have moved up in money position into third place. He's been beat up playing all day. And now look at him. Uh, I'll tell you right now, Mark feels like he's on a raft in a hurricane. Han Lee's on the button. Mark is going to be the first to speak. Small in. Okay, here we go. Mark, Mark Safe is going to push it with a King Jack off suit. I tell you, he's just, you know, he's a little, he's punch drunk right now. He's well, just, he's a short stack. I don't blame him for moving in right there. He's still a little disgusted from that last hand. Had Stan gone out, he'd have moved up 24000 in real right. money. Now, now Han Lee has, a, you know, a little bit of a problem. He has an ace eight. He knows Mark's a desperate man right now. He has an ace high. He thinks it's the best hand. He doesn't know what to do here. I admire his instincts here. Well, I guarantee you, Mark's just thinking, can you just please just get out of my pots for once? <laughs> look, he's look now he's looking in a different direction now, Mark. You know, sometimes sometimes players are superstitious. You know, before you used to stare him down, but he was losing, so now he's gonna try something different. And Han Lee folds. And notice that Chris Garrigan also had ace high. The two chip leaders had ace high, both a better hand than Mark. They threw their hands away. Mark Safe wins the pot. Maybe this will turn the tide for him, Vince. Yeah, absolutely. Good play by Mark. Mark safe. Didn't play it safe. He's going to be successful. He finally got a little break there. He's had his aces cracked. He's seen the guy that was all in suck out completely where he'd have moved up a spot. Maybe this hand will turn the tide for him. Look, he's been on tilt for a little bit, and now I think he's out of that tilt phase. We're going to see some fine play by Mark Safe. We are down to four players at the Legends of Poker Tournament at the Bicycle Casino in Los Angeles. And we'll be right back on the World Poker Tour. Who jammed the copier? AbsolutePoker.com. You in? Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Tonight, we're in Los Angeles, California for the Bicycle Casino's Legends of Poker. Only four players remain in the hunt for the $258,000 first prize. Chip leader Chris Karagulian has been quiet since the early rounds, while short stack Stan Goldstein struggles to stay in the game. With attorney Mark Safe reeling from blows dealt by reckless Han Lee, it's a wide open race to become the next legend of poker. I'm Mike Sexton alongside Vince Van Patten. We are ringside at the final table of the Legends of Poker at the Bicycle Casino. Absolutely, and we could not have asked for a better tournament at this point. Let's get back to it. Well, Vince, it appears to me that Chris's game plan is just simply not to clash with anybody, especially the chip leader. What do you think? Well, yeah, look at him. He's all happy. He doesn't mind being bluffed because he has a whole bunch of chips. He's in the spotlight. It's an amazing strategy, and it's, and it's working up to this point. 12,000. And here comes Mark coming in the pot for 12,000. He makes it 12,000. He raises it. Hanley folds. Chris folds. Chris folds. And Stan folds. Mark picks up the pot. So Mark was a winner that hand. And you know, it's just last week, Mark won $53,000 in a no limit holding game at the Bicycle Casino. He did. Yes, so Mark is a big fan of the Bicycle Casino, and as Shauna Hyatt lets us know, he's not the only one. Shauna. No one loves their cars more than Southern Californians. When it comes to playing poker, in the land of the automobile, the bicycle is king. Service starts at the door at the Bicycle Casino. Welcome to the bike. Thank you. Which prides itself on offering the best in gaming that Southern California has to offer. With over 135 tables featuring both poker and California games, the bicycle ranks as one of the largest card casinos anywhere. But the real difference in this LA hotspot. I think that the bike has always wanted to accommodate its players. 
The employees at the bicycle go the extra mile for their players, offering great places to eat, friendly atmosphere, and plenty of action. The Bicycle Casino doesn't stop at putting on a world-class poker tournament, sponsoring an annual golf competition, and offering up great food. One lucky player even grabs a grand prize that's uniquely Southern Californian. Because even at a place called The Bicycle, they know in L.A. it's all about the ride. Well, Vince, I know the legend of poker has a special place in your heart because you actually made the final table of the championship here one year. And uh, tell us how exciting it is to be at a final <laughs> table of this championship. Well, you know, I did. It was about 10 years ago, and I, I was just coming off the tennis circuit where I played professionally. And I played a poker tournament, and lo and behold, I did really well, and I made the final table. It was the most exciting thing I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> I mean, I thought this was going to be a new profession and all that. Well, to make a long story short, I was knocked out first at the final table. I put up 5000 to initially get in the tournament, I got back $5,050. So I won $50 on my big effort. And from then on, I've never finished well in a tournament again. So I've kind of given them up. Okay, here we go. Here comes Han Lee. Han Lee comes in for 26000 He raises the pot 20000 Chris folds on the button. You know, he had an ace eight. And to him, that's a terrible hand. Of course he's going to fold it. Just very, very happy to be conservative. 26. Stan, who has an ace seven, is contemplating. He's a short stack. He's sort of desperate. Is this where he wants to make his stand? That's what he's thinking about right now. Or does he just want to let it go and see what happens? Save his money for a better spot later. Stan likes to make his opponents sweat. Very methodical, sort of a controlling player. If I didn't win that last pot, I would probably definitely call her. Stan folds. Stan thinks he had the best hand. He throws it away, though. Oh, he's lucky because Mark has picked up a real hand. A pair of fives, pretty good. Well, here we go. Mark Safe has a pair of fives, a speed limit. Got a big hand? Got a pair? Trying to get him to talk. No pair? Sounds like no pair. Look at this stare down. The other two players down at the end of the table are enjoying this match here. Did you hear what Mark said? He said, do you have a pair? He sounds like no pair. He's trying to get him to talk because he knows he has a pair. And if, this, if Hanley doesn't have a pair, he would be a huge favorite. He's thinking about going all in here. I'm all in. There you Mark go. Says he's going to go all in. No, Han Lee. It's only going to cost him another 25000 to call, and there's about 85000 out there. I call. He calls. Hanley's calling. Hanley said call. Okay, Mark has two Here we fives. go. We got the two fives the against the King 10. King 10. King ten. Kind of a loosey goosey call King by Han Lee, huh? The two fives are actually the favorite here. Slightly favored. They're about a 52% favorite to win this pot. Oh, man. And the flop comes Jack Nine Deuce. Now, this gives Hanley a straight draw. Inside straight draw. King oh, the King of 10, and the King comes up. Look at Mark. He's got outdrawn again. And the 10 comes up. He got hit twice. He didn't need it, but wow. Big out draw for Hanley. Good sport. Mark went over, congratulates him. He shakes everyone's hand. His nemesis finally got him. Put the sword right through the heart. Don't come over the top, I call you. Look at Han Lee. Don't come over the top of me because I call. These guys better not live next door to each other, I tell you. <laughs> well, it only cost Han Lee another 25000 to call that bet, Vince, so he had to call that hand. He was getting 3 4 to 1 on his money. The other man was all in. Couldn't cost him that much more. He has to gamble it. You don't know who I am. He's calling himself Kamikaze. <laughs> well, that hand he attacked with the King-10, I don't blame it. I don't blame Mark for going all in with the two fives. I don't see either one of them doing anything wrong in that pot. He's a fearless player, though. you got to give him credit. He just he doesn't think about it. He just plays by his gut, and it's it's paying off tonight. 
Even at the end, Han Lee was saying, no one comes over the top, the Han Lee. And he was doing that. You guys, are you friends? Do you know each other that well? Can he get away with this? <laughs> well, there, there's a little history. Uh, Han Lee and I both have a very aggressive style, as you can tell. Uh, we get into a lot of pots. We, we linger in pots. We make a lot of calls and stuff. So we're, we're both problematic players, and we're very problematic for each other. A week ago, when I won the $300 multi-rebuy event, I got all my chips from Hun Lee. He, had, he was the chip leader by far, and uh, it just was a different day, different outcome then. Today's his day. Uh, he's, he's in very good shape. Three players left at the Legends of Poker on the World Poker Tour. Mark Safe came in fourth place. He gets back uh, 38,700. But in the lead right now is Han with 373,000. Chris is in second place with 243. And Stan is in third with 56,000. Dan is on the very short stack. He's going to have to start playing now. You know, to overcome one of these guys, he's got to get in there and gamble some. Look at this. Chris is raising with a pair of aces, a big pair of aces. Well, Chris is not gambling. He's playing with two aces. And Han Lee folds. Han Lee's not going to give him any action. No. Plus, look, no. look at Han Lee laughing. He turned up the two aces. aces one, one ace. Look, Chris showing his hand. They're both laughing because uh, we're not going to get involved with you. All you do is play the nuts. I got mucked the ace king. I mucked an ace king, Han Lee says. <laughs> we know better, but the audience doesn't. Okay, Chris is on the button with an ace high, and he folds the hand on the button in a three-handed game. Oh, you can eat. Now, ironically, here comes Stan with the same hand Chris folded, and he moves in with his ace deuce. Right. And now Han Lee, who's holding that eight ten again. Don't, don't tell him to call. Uh, uh, <laughs> Look at him laughing. About, uh, he knows he's been lucky tonight. 40, 40, he's a happy 40, guy. Uh, now, he knows the 10 high is not the best hand. Yeah, he's just he gambling if he calls here. But he's been running good, and he wants to gamble. He can sense it. Off. He's not going to do it, though. I might get Nobody calls. He throws his hand away. Well, Vince, I can tell you, if these guys don't start shooting some bullets, he's going to gun them both down quickly. Well, there, you know, Stan is now starting to change gears. He's going to be the big fish, push everybody else around. Did a nice job there. Here's Han Lee raising on the button with Jack-10 offsuit. Chris quickly folds. I haven't looked up. I have a feeling you're going to double me up this year. I haven't had that feeling until now, but I, I have that feeling this year. You're right. You're right. Well, he's gaining some confidence. Oh, he squeezes off an ace the first card. That's a nice feeling. Let me see how much I could raise him if I'm right. So if I call that, I could raise... You might lay it down for 40 times more, right? 30. 39. I can raise him 39 dimes. He's got 26 invested. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise you all my chips. Move in. Stan's moving all in. All in. Move in. All you can eat. He's doing it. He's going all in. He's pushing it all in. All in. Stan thinks he has the best hand. He's putting them all in there. He's tired of Han Lee just mowing down the game. He's on Han Lee now. Han Lee now, Han Lee smiles with us, but he's not smiling much because it's going to cost him another 40000 to call. I call you. He calls. Well, it's pretty evident why they call him the Kamikaze Kid. He goes for the gusto all the time. Stan has a this is Ace-9 nine versus Jack-10 Han offsuit. Han Lee is going to try to outdraw Stan Goldstein to knock him out of this tournament. And he's done it so far. Look, oh, no. a jack comes on the flop. Even Stan goes into a wry grin. He said, I told you I'm going to call you if you raise me. Five comes on. Stan's got to have an ace. He doesn't get it. He throws his arms up. Stan, deeply dejected, shakes hands. But I have you. You move. You say, yes, I call. But there's nothing Stan can do about that hand. He played the hand perfectly. He just got Good unlucky. Luck, you guys. Thank you. It's just Han Lee's day, it looks like. He has a commanding chip lead now playing heads up. Well, he's finished third, $61,270 for third place. And you know what? For a guy that never picked up too many hands, that's pretty darn good. Well, Han Lee pumped up like a Viagra user, all excited. Now you are bad. Look at Chris. Now, he's high-fiving him, too, because he moves up 61000 in real money with a chance to capture this title and win an extra 125000 more, plus that prestigious seat in the World Poker Tour Final Championship event. They're going heads up. Stay tuned. Well, I wonder what Stan's thinking right now. You played with a lot of the great players. Is this one of the toughest punches? 
No. No, I'd like to play with these guys every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> I've played with much tougher. I think Hanley will probably beat Chris. I think he's going to be a little too aggressive for Chris to overcome. to our legends of poker at the famous Bicycle Club in Bell Gardens, California with Mike Sexton and Vince Van Patten. We're watching the final. It's amazing. Well, there's not a lot of sports that show the cash on the table before the final. So this is very, very exciting to actually see the real green stuff only in America. Big cash is on the table, over a quarter of a million dollars. In addition, Vince, the winner gets a $25,000 entry into the championship event of the World Poker Tour. That tournament could pay well over a million dollars to the winner also. So you could have a nice little parlay here if you win this. Well, Vince, we're down to the final two. All the money is on the table now. One of these guys are going to become the legend of poker. The new champion, your man, Han Lee, started out in fourth chip position today. You picked him off the rail, off the vine somehow to win because you like the way he came into the arena. Well, he certainly performed well so 20, far. 20,000, Chris Chris says. is raising this up. Maybe he's going to change gears here. Well, Vince, we both feel like he's got to change his style if he wants to win this tournament. He's got to become more aggressive. Well, that just worked because Han Lee just threw away his hand. I think what the people have to know out there is that in tournament conditions, heads up, you almost have to raise on anything. This is just a psychological battle between two players of who doesn't have the worst hand. And it's just picking up different clues, and it's a very different game at this point. It sure is. I can remember a legend of poker, Jack Strauss, when he played heads up, which was his favorite pastime, was playing heads up poker, he raised literally virtually every single pot. Well, at button. this point... Hanley has 425,000 in chips, and Chris has about 250,000 in chips. 20,000. Raise 20,000. He makes it 20. Okay, Hanley's on the button, and he comes in with a raise. I call. I call. And Chris calls him call. with King High. Chris has called him with a, King High. This is a new Chris because he has King Deuce offsuit. Both players in for 26,000. He's called him with King Deuce offsuit, and he's out of position. So let's see what happens now. The flop comes now ace, here comes the flop, queen ace, queen, ten. Nice for Han Lee. Well, Catching Han that Lee's ace. flopped two aces. Chris, on the other hand, has flopped a One, belly buster five, straight draw. He's got that inside straight draw. One could he needs that jack to call. make a big hand. But Chris is doing the betting. Chris bet 20,000 on the flop. He let into this pot. Han Lee called him. Quickly called him, too. Turn card brings a five. Not a jack. A five came off on the turn. Look at Chris not hesitating, just betting 40, away. 40,000. Now look at Han Lee. I call. Han, Han Lee calls call. him. Quick call. What is Chris doing here? Another five. Doesn't catch. And the boy She's pairs fives. Five. Look at him. He's still going to go for the bluff. This is actually a good card for Han Lee. I call. Call. And Han, Han Lee calls him. We've got a king deuce for a king high from Chris. <laughs> Han Lee has an ace. And Han Lee sort of laughs. Yeah, give me that pie. pirate laugh. Like you knew it. Han Lee never hesitated. He called him all no. the way down easy as pie. <laughs> now, even Chris is laughing here. <laughs> Chris, a very good natured for a guy that just lost a lot of money. If you want to win in this game, you need confidence in yourself. Chris Karagoulian wants to win, and he's got confidence to burn. I'm going to win this. 100%, I think. I'll win it today. I'm one of the best in the game. I can be aggressive anytime I want. I can be tight and see the situation, depend on the situation. Sure of his ability, Chris can still put the game in perspective. For me, it's fun. It's play and have fun and try to control yourself. When I was young, I liked to gamble. I used to lose in 10, 15 minutes, 30, 40,000 dollars. 
I know, I mean, what, if I get mad, they're not cry, they're not gonna give me my money back. Just program myself that it's over, it's gone, forget it. You can do whatever you want. As long as you know, just stop when you need to stop. It's in everything, not only in gambling. Chris Karagoulian respects his opponents, but he knows he's good. Yes! And he's confident. If you play good, you gotta win. Well, this reminds me of it, the greatest No Limit player of all time, Stu Unger. He once told me, he says, Mike, he says, anybody can fire one shell into the pot. He said, but you got to have two greatness to fire two shells. Now, what that meant was, if you're bluffing out a pot, you'll bet into it once, but if a guy calls you, most people won't bet into it the second time. Right, they're too scared, they're nervous. Now, here's a case where Chris not only bet it once and twice, he bet the trifecta. He did it three times, Vince. Right, but though maybe the one mistake he didn't do was, did he bet enough at the end? If he bet enough, he makes a $100,000 bet, maybe he loses Hanley. That's a good point, Vince. In other words, what happened was there was 212,000 in the pot. He bet 40,000. Well, Hanley's getting over five to one on his money, so certainly called 40,000. Especially the board paired fives. That helped his hand. Chris is a new Chris. He's wild. He's crazy. He just raised again. Boy, oh boy. What did he smoke on the brick? I don't know, but Hanley's calling it. Here we go. Hanley's back in the pot with him. Hanley with a queen nine of diamonds. Suited. Not a bad hand. The flop comes ace, eight, three. Three different suits. Chris is in front with the king high over the queen high. Chris says, I'm all in. Look at this. <laughs> Let's get over. Chris is crazy. He's going all in with nothing with the king high. Well, Han Lee can't call him. He's only got queen high. <laughs> Chris is betting all in. Han Lee has time. He's staring him down. Look at this. He's thinking about calling him with a queen high. See, this is no way. This is what great poker is all about, though. People don't realize you have to bet with nothing when you're in this kind There's of... There's no way. He's got about 90000 in Look front. Look at Han Lee. <laughs> he's laughing. He's got that pirate laugh the again. Audience, please, uh, it's almost like he's thinking about calling this with a queen me. high. Like he thinks the queen might be the best hand. It's not far from the worst hand. He's pretty close. I'll say that for him. He throws his hand he throws away. Throws it away. He showed him the king four. Ah, come on, Chris. Look at the Look laugh, at this. the joy of poker. Oh, I'm chicken dough, my Think about Chris, he looks good. You don't see many poker players playing in a coat and tie. There's a saying amongst the pros that if you have a tie in your game, it's a good game. <laughs> well, there's a tie in this game, and I don't know how good it is. It is good. I'd like to be in it, wouldn't you? two players at the Bicycle Casino's Legends of Poker. Only one of these players will win the $258,000 first prize and a $25,000 seat at the World Poker Tour Championship event. Let's get back to the action. Well, whatever happens, Vance, you got to give Chris credit. He has changed his tactics. I'll tell you one thing. He's put his sail the other direction, and he's going downwind. Yeah, well, he's opened up his game 100%. He's a bluffer now. Lucy Goose. And here we go again. Hanley folds. And Hanley folds and gives up the pot. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Hanley's going to the other gear. He that's may change right. his sails. That's right. Well, it goes to show you a totally different game with two players, tournament conditions. Now look at Hanley. He was laughing and giggling. Now it looks like he's got a little more serious look in his eye. To most, poker is a game of calm reflection, a battle best won by separating the emotion from the decision. Now remember, I did say most. Oh! A lot of people call me Kamikaze. Kamikaze. Kamikaze name. My nickname like this, I know. And then I think. Oh, wow, you know. <laughs> Han Lee plays his cards with his heart. I call you. He pushes the limit at every opportunity. Wild, reckless style. The man has no issue with putting all the chips in very, very quickly. Han Lee is a. This guy, you'd never know. It may seem a crazy way to play cards, but it's usually the other guy who ends up talking to himself. 
One of those stacks is mine right now. No half, Bill. They say life is a gamble. If that's true, then Han Lee is living life to the fullest and loving every minute. I know one thing. Chris looks like a new player coming out here since they got down to heads up. He's playing fast. He can't let this guy just run over him, and he's certainly not allowing that to happen. Here's Han Lee on the button. He's picked up the 4-8 of spade. He wants to see a flop. Hanley he just calls. calls. Now, Chris, with an ace high Race 20. and Race the best hand, he's doing the right thing. He's raising here. Yeah, ace seven with the button is a big hand these days. Call. Call. Han Lee called 20 more thousand. We're going to see a flop. So we got 54,000 in the pot right now. And here comes a flop. flop 10, 10, 9, 4. four. Nine, Not a bad hand for Han Lee. He picks up a pair of fours. 40,000. 40, Han Lee bets 40,000. I'm all in. And Chris all moves all in. Chris, Chris is on a stone in. bluff with a seven. He moves all in. Which He's put Han Lee to the test here. I call you. Look Whoa. at Han Lee the gambler. Whoa. Han Lee says I call. Han Lee's hoping he's got ace king or ace queen. And the two fours are the best hand. And he's exactly right. Han Lee is right. He's only got ace high. But the seven comes on the turn. The seven comes on the turn. Now look what happens here. Han Lee can win this pot with a four, a six, an eight, or a jack. He does not get it. Look at Kamikaze. He made the correct call with a pair. He put him on ace high. He didn't think he had a pair. He called him with the two fours. He was correct. He got outdrawn with two to go. He still had a lot of outs to win this pot. This pot was almost 300,000. Whoa, what a turnaround. We're about dead even the chips again here. Hanley still has the lead, but the gap has closed. Well, Hanley's fast sailboat turned into a rowboat with no oars. Looks like he's a little deflated Chris there by losing in. that last pot. Check. Well, this is an entirely new player. Chris has uh, totally changed gears for the better. Well, he's energized. He's pumped up. Seven, and seven, here comes eight, the flop. Seven, seven, eight with two clubs. Check, check. He goes check, check. They're both checked. The nine, nine of clubs on the turn. Look at that. That makes the straight for Chris. 20. And Hanley's betting into him. All in. He moved all, all in. in. Chris, Chris all moved in. all in. Hanley's smiling. He made a straight. He's got a straight flush draw. This is going to put Hanley in therapy. I mean, this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, he got his man out. Hanley folds. Shows the straight. Chris shows the straight to him. Now, are you kind of surprised that he that he didn't just play it a little bit slower to suck Hanley into another bet? Well, that's a pretty big raise. I mean, he had 266,000 more. I don't know why you'd raise that much. Suppose the guy made a flush on you, you'd be broke. But I'm surprised that is quite a huge re-raise, I must say that. Well, the action's on Han Lee. This looks like a different guy. I mean, this looks like a guy that's friends just didn't show up on his birthday. I mean, he is depressed now. He's a different player. Han Lee limps in, Chris checks. They both have junk hands. Let's see what happens. Flop is five, eight, Jack. Chris check, Han Lee check, check, check. Go well, Chris flopped the three. bottom pair. Han Lee has got a three, four. He's got nothing. Seven of spades, check. The seven check. comes on the turn, it goes check, check again. And the river. King. Now the king, king comes eight. at the river. Chris checks. Chris has a pair of fives. Now the only way Han Lee can win this pot is if he bets. Tony. Here comes Han Lee, he is gonna bet at the pot. Now Chris has a pair, he has the best hand, but he gave it up. Now, Han Lee earned this pot, Vince. In poker, this is what you call when you earn your pot. When you're betting with nothing to pick up a pot, Han Lee's done that about three or four times here lately. And he's earning this pot. You gotta give him his due. Absolutely. I mean, that last one wasn't a bet, that was a holdup. He's back. We're at the Bicycle Casino for the Legends of Poker. We'll be right back. Morning, James. Yeah, that does it. <clears throat> Put it in the contact lens in my eye. And uh, without my hands, it's more hygienic that way. I read about it in a magazine. Works excellent. It's wonderful. All right, I'm ready for the last sales. I'm all over the sales report. Thank you. Thanks very much. I look. Okay, Bob. Bad poker face. Doesn't matter when you play online at partypoker.com. It's fun, it's easy, it's the world's largest poker room. 
the other eye. Final two players at the Bicycle Casino's Legends of Poker Tournament. Conservative Chris Karagulian has turned up the heat, snatching pot after pot from Kamikaze Han Lee. Both players have got to stay aggressive if they want to become the next legend. Well, Chris has cut deeply into that lead now. He's less than $100,000 behind Han Lee at this moment. The one who's going to take home more than a quarter of a million dollars. Get the guaranteed seat of the WPT Championships at Bellagio worth millions. 40. Okay, Chris has the real hand. Ace King, big slick. He raised it 40,000. Now that's a pretty good size raise. Now does Hanley want to gamble and take a flop with this hand? He only has a 10 9. He has position, but that's a huge raise, 40,000. The blind's only 6,000. Hanley thinking, thinking. Throws it away. See, now, when you make plays like that, Vance, it looks like to me that you're just looking to play big pots. You're not looking to chop out little pots. You know, you look a little afraid to play the smaller pots, see? Something Han Lee likes to do. He likes to bet the 10,000s. Whereas Chris makes a big raise, 40,000 with an ace king. Well, right now, Han Lee has about 380,000 in chips, and Chris has about 290,000. So it's a good battle. It's anybody's tournament. The blinds are only three and six thousand. Chris checks. So this could be a long battle. Now Han limps again on the button. And the flop is Jack, Jack, ten, two hearts. Tony. Han Lee has flopped an open in straight. Han Lee wins the pot. He's done it again. His strategy of limping on the button has really paid off for him. He's picked up a lot of pots by just limping in on the button. Chris looking a little worried there for the first time. All right, Hanley's on the button. He limps in again. That play's worked well for him so far. Chris checks. He has a king four offsuit. Chris only has a queen six offsuit. Let's see what happens. Flop comes king, queen, deuce. Oh, Hanley helps checks. them both. Hanley has flopped top pair. Check Chris checks. has flopped the second pair. Seven of hearts. Chris checks. Hanley's going for it. He's going to bet here. 20. Han Lee bets 20. Now Chris checked and Han Lee bet 20,000 and Chris quickly beats him in the pot. Oh, the joker for Chris. Oh, no. He has made queens and sixes here. This is a, a beautiful outdraw by Chris. He checks. Han Lee has bet 40,000. What a nice Han check, too, by Chris. 30, all in. All in. He says all in, Vince. Oh, he's doing that quick all in thing again. What a trap. Hanley well, the last time he did it, Hanley was right and cold with the bottom pair. King, queen, deuce, seven, seven. Now, Hanley's got to think. He's got kings. Well, what the heck does this guy have? And remember, Chris has bluffed him two big pots since they've been playing heads up all the way down. That's right. He lost one and he won one, but Hanley remembers those bluffs. I call. He's calling and he it. called him. Two Chris pair. He planted six. the seeds for those bluffs earlier. Yeah. Han Lee thought he was bluffing again. He called him with the kings. The queens and sixes win this pot. Look at Han Lee's face and look at this pot. This pot has 562,000 in it. Han Lee more than disgusted. He's just, he can't even speak right now. He knows he got outdrawn at the river. He can only lose to one of five cards. That's right. Chris had to catch one of three sixes or one of two queens. Be he only had five outs in the deck. You know what, though? If, he, if, if Chris didn't set him up with a couple bluffs early on, Hanley can't possibly make this call. But he sure got lucky in that pot, and he played it beautifully to double up a monster pot over half a million dollars. He's got over a five-to-one chip lead now. Well, Vince, what's amazing here is when they started heads up, Hanley had him about 560,000 to 100. It's completely reversed now. Chris has the 560. Hanley's down to about 100. Yeah, well, Hanley looks like he's had the blood drained out of him. He's a very disillusioned man. He's got 6 8 in his hand. Let's look at the flop. Flop is ace 9 10. Flop comes ace 10 9. Now, Hanley has an inside straight draw. Hanley checks. They both check. Bingo. He did it. He's caught the straight. Now, what do you do? He's got to check it. He checks. Chris checks right behind him. Five, Five comes off at the turn. He's got a beautiful hand. 
how to play it, what to bet. He bets 20,000. And Chris quickly folds his hand. Now, this has got to be very disheartening for Han Lee. He made a straight. He won nothing but the anties and blinds there. Yeah, that's almost like the worst thing that could happen. You know, you get no action. Han Lee begging this guy to call. Couldn't get him. Well, what it looks like to me is now that Chris has the lead, he's like a hen sitting on his eggs. He's not going to give him up. Bicycle Casino's Legends of Poker Tournament. The action started fast and furious today as Kathy Liebert and Ken Hua went out in the first four hands of play. After that, our tribals Mark Safe and Han Lee played a two-man grudge match that sent the Los Angeles attorney packing. Stan Goldstein snuck into third place but just couldn't pick up a hand. Now, Chris Karakulian has gone from conservative to crazy and back again as he claims the lion's share of chips in the final rounds of play. Let's get back to the action. Well, I got a feeling it's going to be hard to pry those chips out of Chris. I don't think he's going to be in there rambling and gambling like he was when they started out heads up. He's in commanding position. He knows it. For Hanley to come back now, he's going to have to crack a hand. He's going to have to beat a hand. It's just that simple. Chris looks pretty confident, doesn't he? Look at him. Oh, yeah. Look at him. The cat that swallowed the canary there. And Hanley looks like the canary. Hanley first to act on the button. <laughs> he calls 3,000. And Chris checks. All right, Hanley calls on the button. He's got 7-10 offsuit. Chris knocks the table with queen three. Flops, Flops comes ace-10-6 ace, six. Six with two clubs. Hanley catches the pair of tens. He's betting. Hanley bets 20. And no call by Chris. Hanley bets. He wins the pot. No, Hanley does not look happy now. He can't get anything to happen. Well, I'll he, tell you why he doesn't look happy, Vince, because he knows prying these chips back out of Chris is going to be a job. To it's Chris. not going to come easy. It's going to be a long, long battle for him if he comes back and wins this tournament. Otherwise, it's going to have to be a hand over a hand. He's going to have to beat a big hand. So the old tight Chris has come back. The old tight Chris is back. He's put his suit back on. He's adjusted his tie. He's in the conservative mode again. He's just There's limping in on the button again. On the button and Hanley checks. He's got queen three of clubs. He's up against jack three. Flop comes ace, king, king. Two hearts. Goes check, check. Both check. Now the nine of clubs comes on the turn. This doesn't help anyone. Both check. Goes check, check again. Last card is a Now the ten of spade comes at the river. Goes check, check. Chris has the queen kicker. Hanley has the jack kicker. Chris wins the pot with the queen kicker. Yeah, Chris wins the pot with the queen high. Just takes the pot. He wasn't going to gamble there. But he just wants to get the killer punch in. Well, I think he should. I think that's the correct strategy. Well, Vince, Chris is feeling good right now. He's got over a five to one chip lead. And I believe it's going to be hard to pry those chips out of him. Hanley's on the button. He limps in on the button. He's got 10 jack off suit. 40. Now look at this. Look what Chris has. He's got a real big hand. He's got a pair of queens. It's a very big hand. He's raising the pot 40,000. Now that's a big raise. The blind's only 6,000. He's raised at 40,000. Now Hanley's got a situation here. He's only got a jack 10 off suit. He's only got about 115,000 left. Oh. Calling. He's going to gamble. Calls. He comes in for the 40,000 more. Now, Vince, I know the Jack 10 was luckier for him when he played against Dan Goldstein, but I don't like this $40,000 call raised before the flop. Now, here comes the flop. Jack 5 4. Hanley has top hair. He thinks he's good. Chris moves all in, and Hanley quickly calls him. He can't get away from it. Now, Chris has two queens. Hanley has two jacks. He's got a 10 kicker. Chris is a huge okay, favorite on, here. He's a four to one queens, favorite to win this pot right now. Hanley has to catch a jack or a 10. Okay. Here, here we go. go. No. Four comes on the turn. Not going to help Hanley. No, what that means is it took three of his outs. He now has to catch a jack. He's got a two outer. He's a huge underdog. Right now, he's not feeling too good. Crazier things have happened. Is he going to get lucky? He made a full house, but the wrong one. Chris has won the tournament. 
with boys full of queens. Chris Kerrigan, who won the first pot of the day with two queens, against Kathy Liebert, who won a monster pot, ends the tournament with two queens. The ladies have been lucky for Chris today, man. Incredibly so, 258,000 first prize. He does it with two ladies. Amazing, only a good sport there. Well, the truth is, Jaime got himself in big trouble by calling the $40,000 raise before the flop. Once the jack comes on the flop, you can't get away from this hand. The two queens were a little bit over a four to one favorite to win this pot. He's gonna take home about 258,000 for this, but not only that, Mike, you know, he's got a guaranteed seat on the WPT Championship at Bellagio worth millions of dollars to go up against all the legendary players. Okay, we're worth our winner. Chris, tell us what you were thinking today. Well, I knew I was going to win, because I'm the best. So. <laughs> well, Chris, congratulations. And of course, in a few minutes, we have quite a bit of uh, money for you, okay? We do want to thank the Bicycle Casino for hosting the Legend of Poker. It's been a fantastic event on the World Poker Tour this week. We hope to see you back again next time on the World Poker Tour. Yeah.